Hello everyone, it's Melissa Daggett with 3-Way Fit and welcome to this video. Our topic today is how fit are you in your relationships? So this is going to be your relationship fitness assessment. So, but before we get started, if you like this YouTube channel, my YouTube channel 3-Way Fit, and if you want to get more videos, be sure and click the subscribe button and the bell above the subscribe button to get all my future videos and I'll be putting out weekly content. Okay, so let's dig right in. So, how fit are you in your relationships? Physical fitness is the key to the success of, you guessed it, people who want to be physically fit. It begins with the desire not only to better themselves, but also to be the best at what they do. This mindset enables them to prepare their mind as well as their bodies for success. Being mentally ready helps them do the requisite things such as working out consistently to fine tune their skills and to get their body better and better. They push themselves. They eat a clean diet and maintain it so they can support their physical health. So these are all similar to the care that should be put into fit relationships. Fit relationships begin with being emotionally mature enough to give your best self and to be willing to work on it. This mental preparedness means honesty and authenticity with yourself and others. What are your weak points? What are your blind spots? Being open to constructive criticism, being willing to change what needs to change to have a better relationship. Because the truth is the only person we can change is ourselves. These qualities allow you to be vulnerable and conscious of your emotions, to be self-aware. They fuel a desire to love unconditionally in spite of past relationship failures, to know that your relationships will only be as good as what you're willing to invest in them and how hard you're willing to work on them. So if you have two people doing this, you should be able to have a healthy relationship. So in your relationship, your emotional fitness will help you work through the inevitable conflicts that occur from personal differences. It's gonna happen no matter how great your partner is, no, how many, no matter how great you are, no matter how much you love each other, how you work through conflict resolution, how you communicate is so important. In fact, studies that I've done have shown the top three causes of relationship failure, breakups, and divorces are finances, infidelity, and lack of good communication or conflict resolution. And that third one affects every area of our relationship because we will need to learn how to communicate effectively and work through conflicts in a healthy way, no matter what topic it is. So while it may take two to tango, it begins with one. So start with yourself and let's do this assessment. Okay, are you guys ready? I have it in front of me because I don't wanna forget one step, okay? So developing these traits will strengthen your fitness in your relationships in all of them number one is respect every human being craves and deserves respect including you so take it for yourself and give it freely don't allow others to disrespect you but make sure you are showing respect too and if your partner calls you on it be willing to apologize and think about how your words may have been disrespectful even if you didn't mean it and really work on that your style of communication, the way you say things. Number two, loyalty. Be a true team player and have the back of your partner and others with whom you interrelate. Show your partner and others that your support is unwavering. Number three, be a friend first. Many people credit their lifelong relationships to the fact that their partner becomes their best friend. A best friend supports you with their unconditional love. Doesn't your partner deserve this too? Number four, understanding. None of us are perfect. We come with our own unique flaws. Your partner's uniqueness is one reason you fell in love with them. Be patient and understanding. Put yourself in their shoes. It will help you understand their perspective as you work through their, your differences. Number five, tolerance. This is often difficult, but therein lies the beauty of who we are. Cultures, race, ethnicity, and socialization shape us and color us differently, like a rainbow. It's wise to hold off on judgments and criticisms or write them down. I have a 24 hour rule when I'm upset about something, I wait 24 hours to approach it. Sometimes I'm not always the best and I have to apologize in the way I handle things, but I've really tried as I've gotten older to handle conflicts with great care and concern and respect. You also have to be able to be honest though and not walk on eggshells with your partner. You have to be able to communicate truth and love. And if they're not willing to hear it, 
then again, it takes two to tango. You can only do your part. Okay, so the next one is kindness. A little kindness goes a long way into sweetening relationships and reminding people why they appreciate you and why you appreciate them. Be kind. It's not hard. Number seven, trust. The key is to trust first and give your partner room for errors. Always give them the benefit of the doubt. Always believe the best about them. If they give you a reason not to, you might need to talk through that and reestablish trust. Trust has to be earned every single day, and it's so easy to lose. So be trustworthy. Number eight, independence. Avoid depending on your partner to provide your whole life. Have your own interests, have your own independence. You know, have times that you go out with your friends and you spend time with your friends, they spend time with theirs, and then you come back together. Be careful about same-sex friendships because those can cause temptations to infidelity, but you each should have separate hobbies and friendships that you're building and developing. Also, you should have some together, though. Togetherness, an equal amount of separateness and togetherness is healthy. You and your partner will both benefit. So, being fit in your relationship takes courage to demonstrate your better self. It means pushing past the hurt, miscommunication, and self-love that are often misguided and damage the relationship. A fit relationship exercises rules that push you to make wise choices and to both become purposeful in building a better you and a better relationship that will last. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. And if you're on YouTube, be sure to click the like and subscribe button and the bell to get all notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me, head on over to my website, melissadaggett.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.